Hey there, friends. Jeff Fritz here, and I want to talk to you about a journey that I'm starting in taking my Blazor applications and putting them into .NET MAUI, native applications that will run on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. I'm starting with an application that I want to run on Windows and Mac OS, and, and I'm running into this issue. Let, let me explain. Let me show it to you. This is the default template that comes with .NET MAUI. And when you build with .NET MAUI and Blazor, you, you get the, the Blazor template, and it's sitting inside of, for me here inside Windows, a native Windows application. But it feels weird to have this web navigation bar on the side. So what I want to do is I want to take that navigation bar, that menu bar, and turn that into a, a real native menu bar, right? Like, that's easy. Let's just move that somewhere else. Turns out it's not that easy. If you want to read all the source code, you want to see everything about this video, I've got a link just below in the description to my blog. I have a blog post all about this that you can click through and find. I've also got some source code that I'm sharing that shows this technique that I'm going to show you here today. Now, if I want to get rid of that menu bar and actually allow Blazor and to be navigated by Maui, one of the ways that's been recommended and a couple folks have suggested doing this is to set up a tab bar up at the top that opens other Blazor web views, right? This, this web component that you see behind me embedded is called a Blazor web view. It's, it's, it, it's a proxy for the browser on this operating system. Let's go change that. Let's use the technique that was recommended in some of the other documentation that I found out there. So I'll jump into Visual Studio here, and I'll go over to App XAML, and I've got the, that code here just commented out. I'll enable application main page, and you see tab bar with a home tab, and down here I'll uncomment the end of this. Save that, and I'll reach into app XAML and I'll remove that extra bit there so that we can start the application. And there's my application and I've got two items on the tab bar here. When I click on log, it navigates over to the counter page and, and it's only showing that counter. It's removed the other elements. But importantly here, I've got two browsers and you can see there's a little bit of a delay when I interact because it's actually starting up the other browser and loading it in. And if I have a bunch of these navigation elements, it's going to have several different browsers that it's running inside my application. That feels wrong. That feels like too much. Where what I really want to do is navigate around. That might be appropriate where you have different Blazor applications that you want to route and manage inside your MAUI application. But in this case, it's one application that I just want to navigate around. So let's go back and refactor that a little bit. So instead of having a tab bar with multiple tabs here, let's get rid of that tab bar. And I'm going to introduce instead that includes one content page with some menu bar items here for the home, counter, and weather pages. And I've, I've set up a, um, an event handler called menu item clicked. We'll write that later. And there's my one Blazor web view. And you can see down here, it has one root component that goes to my routes, right? The routes inside my application. And you can see there's my routes right there that has the jumping off point for routing around my application. So there's my routes so that it knows how to navigate around to my various pages. Let me restart and let you see what the application looks like now that we've pivoted and we now have this menu bar and one content page. All right, so there's the application and now I have a content menu bar up here and there's my three items of content that you can see there in the corner. Okay. Now I want to have that actually wire up and navigate inside my application here. How do I do that part? And this is where it gets a little bit tricky because it turns out that the 
web view doesn't have any kind of navigation available to us so that we can tell it to go other places. We want to tell the Blazor navigation manager to navigate to other pages when we click to it. So we need to expose that to our .NET MAUI application so that it can navigate around. Well, fortunately, the service locator that's available inside .NET MAUI is the same one that's used inside of Blazor. So we can make a singleton service available that will be shared across both of them. And we can use that to route interactions to the Blazor Navigation Manager. Let's start off creating a little navigator service that will allow us to work with the Navigation Manager and spin around inside our Blazor application. So I'll just add a property here for Navigation Manager called Navigation Manager. Okay, that was pre pretty easy to start. Now, let's take my Navigator service, make it available to my application as a singleton so that it can be injected not just into .NET MAUI, but into Blazor. So up here, I'll just say Builder Services, Add Singleton, Navigator Service. Okay. Next step, I'm going to reach into the layout of my application. Not the main page, but I'm going to reach into my main layout. Razor component here. And here, I'm going to inject my navigator service and I'll also inject the navigation manager that Blazor has for us so that we can do that actual navigation inside our application. Finally, down here in the on initialized I'll just configure the navigator service I have to do this little bit of run around here because it turns out the navigation manager isn't available when you inject it into .NET MAUI applications. It's not initialized. So we're going to pass it around and inject it into this stateful singleton so we can retrieve and work with it inside of the .NET MAUI components of the application. Let's head back over to AppZaml. And now I'll receive my navigator service. Stash that in a property. There we go. And inside my menu item clicked, I'll insert a little bit of code here that will look at the menu item that was clicked and navigate to the appropriate page. All right, let's restart the application and see how this works. So here's the application. There's my native menu bar. I'll click through to the counter and it navigates to the counter. I'll go over to the weather and it goes to the weather page. So I now have a menu bar that will navigate around inside of Blazor. Last steps that I may want to do, real easy. I would want to go into my main layout over here and remove that sidebar because I don't really need that in my application because I now have my native menu bar. And there it is. There's the weather page. I can navigate around to the other pages and interact with them. And it feels and looks a little bit more like a native application. I'm going to be building more with .NET MAUI and Blazor over the weeks ahead as I continue to tune and improve the Tags app application. I want you to leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think, if there are other tips or tricks that you've found while you're working with Blazor inside of .NET MAUI applications. There's a link to the blog post and source code just below if you want to check that out. And of course, if you want to see more of my videos, do me a favor, give this a like, click that subscribe and the bell so you get notified, and I'll have more videos for you in the days and weeks ahead. Thanks so much.